really do not understand what throw pillows are all about. Anyways, good morning. It is Monday morning, and it's a sunny day, yet it's chilly. And I think it's only like 30 degrees out there today. But it's sunshiny, which is awesome. So, that is always a good thing. Um, let's see, what has happened today already? Two of my girls are at school. I have an Emily at home. She was really... Stupid! <laughs> she's not under protest. She's at home under protest. Um, she had a temperature yesterday, so it hasn't quite been... Oh my goodness, look at this zit I got under my nose. Don't look at the zit. Okay. So anyways, Zoe, Emily, <laughs> I can't even talk today. Emily had a fever yesterday, so it has not been 24 hours yet. So she cannot go to school. She's under protest, but that's all right. She's happy now, though, because I told her I would take her to hy -Vee with me. So we are going to go head out and go to the grocery store because I have a few things to pick up to round out um, what I need for meals this week. So that is what we're going to go do right now. It is 10 o'clock already. This day is flying by way too fastly. Um, we had some drama this morning with my youngest, which was not cool. So that put me about an hour behind schedule. So anyways. Um, oh, will you grab my sunglasses out of the side pocket of that backpack? And then we can go. Which so, side pocket? Well, on the outside, you know where the little cup holders are? One of them has got... Yeah, ha. Dad has no, one. I'll drop them down the steps. No, 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 no. So, we're going to go get our grocery shopping done. Right, Emily? Stop. Look, we're matchy-matchy. We're both wearing red on our sweatshirt. And Emily's being a good child and wearing Wisconsin sweatshirt. I put it go, on. Go, Wisconsin! I put it on before you guys left. I know. To Wisconsin. I know. I know. We left her home yesterday when we went to Grandma and Grandpa's to take care of the camper, which I didn't vlog about, but oh well. It's kind of a boring thing. You left me alone. But she couldn't come. We were all getting together for Grandma and Grandpa's. Um, I could have stayed in the camper. For her, their anniversary dinner and, and then getting our campers winterized for the winter. All right, are we ready? Yeah. All right, we are off to the grocery store. Just take me this to I'm not taking this to school. Let's go check out these baby trees. Why? Because I love baby trees. Why? Because I think they're cute. They're going to die. Well, they're trees. They're already dead. They've been cut down. They have no roots. Why would you buy a dead Look tree? Look at these little baby trees. How much are they? I don't know. Why would you buy a dead tree in the first place? Tabletop tree with stand. I can't read it, it's too tiny. Spruce. Does not say how much they are. Yeah, it doesn't have a price on it. That is annoying. As I'll get up. No, Look at the different ones. These have prices on them. Yeah. Maybe they just didn't get around to these yet. Well. Huh. Big berries. Oh, yes, those are cute. Are these big trees or big trees? Uh, those are, well, they're, those are tree cuttings. Oh. Why not? It's Christmassy. No. no. <laughs> yes, like it is. Tree. Could you stop that? <laughs> Yeah. It's oh look at those trees. Oh my god. I want oh. one. I'm getting one. They're only fifteen dollars. Oh. Shut up, I've always wanted one. Did you tell me to shut up? Look at this. I'm gonna kill it anyway. Put it in my It's going to die. It doesn't matter. Oh they got little little spruce ones. Ooh, I like these too. Oh, that one's a frosted one. Those are 25. Don't waste The pine money. ones are 25. Don't put your money into it. 
I want the... the one that said no more um, spending? I always wanted a rosemary tree, though. Um, no. You're a meanie. Alright. Oh, Shelby. You didn't come and settle with me for very long. So, I just got myself a wonderful nap today. I went down for a nap much earlier than normal. Like, Emily and I got back from the grocery store at like, I don't know what time it was. It was probably 11 o'clock. I had lunch right away, and then I went down for a nap. I am feeling really tired, but at the same time, I'm feeling energized. So I'm laying in bed. So of course I woke up coughing, and I'm laying in bed saying, all right, do I just try to go back to sleep, or do I get up and try to get some work done? So I think I'm gonna gonna get up and get some work done. I have a really messy kitchen all of a sudden. I don't know how my kitchen gets so messy. Oh, my throat is just killing me. I don't know why. I mean, like, I have some, I don't have hardly any, like, drainage out of my nose. It's just going down my throat. And it's hurting so bad today. Normally my throat doesn't hurt till the, kind of, you know, towards the end of the day. It's really hurting today. So, I feel like I need, like, a, like a slushy or, or a, um, ice cream cone or something just to, like, numb my throat for a little bit. That would feel so amazing. Anyways, so I am going to clean up my kitchen here. It is a mess. I didn't clean up after my lunch. I was so hungry. I just gobbled up my lunch and then went down for a nap. <laughs> Such a naughty person. I know. But anyways, so Zoe is home from school today. Emily is already home, obviously. And Jasmine has a babysitting gig um, for my sister and her kids. So her son works goes to school right over by Jasmine's school. So I didn't even have to go pick up Jasmine today. Because normally I would have to go over and pick up Emily, but since Emily is sick and at home, I didn't have to go do my afternoon pickup. So I feel like I'm footloose and fancy free. It's a very strange feeling. So now I feel like I should make the most of this extra time. But most likely in all real reality, not a whole lot will get done. I am going to, we have a Packer game this after, this evening. It is, um, look at these. I got, I picked up a treat at the grocery store this morning. And these mints. Oh my goodness. I have not had these things in like years. So yummy. So I'm going to stash them up here behind my plates. So kiddos don't find them and no one will eat them. I know my husband has already been into mine, but I don't know about those. <laughs> I don't know if it's that I love them so much because obviously I love chocolate and mint together, but it was always a special treat of my mom's. It was one of those things that she would always get at Christmas time from my dad or from her friends um, was those Andy's chocolate mints. So. And that's how I started, you know, like, they're like the special chocolates, you know what I mean? It's like, but they're really not that expensive, but at the same time, they're like a special little treat. So in my mind, they're still, you know, the special chocolates, the mommy chocolates. <laughs> so anyways, that's kind of silly that I still feel that way, even though I'm an adult of my own, right? But oh well. So I am having to do this. We have got my kitchen with this dining room mess. You see this? This is a neb. Um, helps clear when you've got a lot of congestion. I don't know if anyone else does this or not, but you use a brutal and you like breathe in the vapors, and it um, kind of helps with your chest con chest chest congestion. Like, you know how you, when you've got a lot of congestion, you just how tight your chest starts to feel. And like, you can't hardly, when you're coughing, you can't hardly get anything to move in there. 
So that stuff is supposed to help with that. So I've been doing that twice a day. And it's really, I think it's helping. So I am currently not even taking any, I have no medication in me whatsoever. I didn't take any sort of Sudafed or anything today. And I think I'm okay without it. But I do think I need to take some sort of cough medicine because the coughing is just out of control. Out of control. My stomach muscles hurt so bad from all the coughing I'm doing. So it's not just a little bit of coughing. So yeah. Um, Alright, so I've been chatting enough. I have my kitchen relatively cleaned up right now. I should, I really need to take out the recycling. I should just go ahead and do that. But anyways, so I have dishes that I washed this morning that I haven't put away yet. But I'm going to wait till I do dinner. Because dinner tonight is kind of a putsy dinner. And it's also a new dinner that I found on the internet that I want to try. It's basically like a steak and potato skillet kind of meal. So I'm very excited about that. Because I, I love potatoes. And I love steak and it's all in one. So I don't know how I can do wrong with that. I think the family should like that. So I'm excited about that. And then we also have the Packer game this afternoon or this evening. And then I have that painting project I want to work on. So I think that is what I'm going to work on now. And here comes Emily. She's got to talk to me about something. So I shall go. Bye. We're going to Aldi. Emily is coming with me. cloudy day today but that's all right um let's see what is happening today there isn't much on the books today i have got a text into my sister to see if she wants to go to the thrift stores today which i would like to do and then i also need to go vote today we have a school referendum that we need to get voting for so that is coming up and then i just looked at the calendar but i think that's it for the day and there's no babysitting jobs. I don't have the kids go anywhere for any activities today. So, it's just going to be a project day. And I am going to get my floors vacuumed today. I have been putting it off way too long. It needs to get done. So that is the one thing I'm going to get done today. And I also have my barn quilt. I think I might have talked about that. Almost finished painting. So I'm going to finish that up today and then put the edging on that. If I hope I have the edging for that. Otherwise, I'll have to run to the store to build the edging on that. So, that is my main goal for today. So, yeah. I've already done some laundry. I've already done the dishes and made my bed. Put on my makeup for the day. So, I am rearing to go. So, I'm trying to figure out if I should wait for my sister to cut back to me. Or if I should just go ahead and go vote here real quickly. I don't know what I should do. What time is it? It's only 8.30. I could probably go vote and come back before she even calls me. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to run out and go vote. And then I'll be back. Bye.
All right, so I am done voting. Got my little sticker. Whoop, whoop. Now I can go home and work on some stuff. Still haven't heard from my sister. It's a little early yet. She's still in the um, stages of getting all of her children out the door. So her later, the last kid goes to school at like nine o'clock, which is craziness. The school that I'm at right now to um, vote at hasn't even started yet. <laughs> it seems insane to me. But anyways, they're like the last school to start. But anyways, so she'll drop her kid off at 9. And it's not even 9 o'clock yet. I feel like I've got all this time left for the day. But alright, so I'm almost in my car. I'm going to head on home and get a few things done. Hello, my Shelby girl. How are you today? You're so cute. Are you taking a little snooze? You're all curled up like a little pretzel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mama loves you. Oh my God, an Emily. Who's home from school again today? I didn't want it. You didn't want to be home from school? Uh, it's Go okay. away. Go away. Okay, goodbye. Go back to the cute puppy instead. Hello. Hello. You're adorable. Okay, so I am back from voting. And I realized that I do not have what I need to finish the project that I want to finish today. So, I am going to head to Menards and pick up some wood. And Emily girl is actually homesick today again. And she's not very happy about it. So she is gonna come with me. She's feeling a little better at the moment. So we'll go tire her out. <laughs> it, should, it should take us only like five minutes at the most at the store. But, so we're gonna go take care of that and we will see you later. Here we go to Menards. We're going in the out, I'm not going on. Nobody's calling this lady. What? Ooh, I need these too. Oh my goodness, smell those. Oh. Oh. That one smells like a Christmas tree, right? I, I can smell the Christmas tree. I What's the rain beer one smell like? Like cinnamon. Oh. You should get them. I don't think we need them. Mom, I want one of these for my little tea light candle. Are you going to start other fires with it? No. Promise? That's what everyone says and then they start fires in my house. Why would I? Can I have one? Yeah. Alright, so I have had lunch, and we are back, obviously, from the store, and I got some stuff done, I got some fitted done, I worked on my project a little bit, and now I'm ready for a nap. I'm so exhausted. This cold, I don't think I'm sleeping the way I'm supposed to be, but I don't know, I just have no energy. This cold is just taking it out of me, so I'm going to take a little nap. It's about noon right now. So I've got time for about an hour and a half nap, so I'm going to take full advantage. Talk to you later. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning today, and I have a Zoe girl home from school. Oh, she's just waking up. She like took got up this morning, she took her shower, and she's like, Mom, my stomach hurts so bad. And she like laid on the floor in the living room. See that? <laughs> and she's been there for two hours. So she's just kind of starting to wake up now. But anyways, um, Emily did go back to school today. She's feeling a little bit better. Jasmine is also starting this wonderful cold that we have also. So everyone in the house is sick at this moment. Um, I am feeling a little bit better today, although I have these huge coughing attacks because all of a sudden I will get hot or I'll get a tickle in my throat and all of a sudden the phlegm just starts flowing and I'm like choking on it. It is just terrible. So 
So anyways, that is not cool. But it only happens like a couple times a day. And in between those times, I'm cool. I have no problems. So I feel like I'm on the mend. <laughs> so anyways, what else is happening today? Oh, we have had, it has been a morning with Shelby Girl. Shelby Girl is not doing well. Um, she hasn't eaten really very much in the last day and a half. Yesterday, I got her to eat a couple egg whites and that was it. The day before that, she had her medicine in the morning and then had an egg white in the evening. So she is basically not eating. And the poor little baby is just so weak that this morning she was trying to walk and then she just stopped and like fell over. And I'm just like, oh my lord, this is ridiculous. So I have been, <laughs> I've had a rough morning. I, for the first about three hours this morning, I have been crying pretty much nonstop all morning long. So I have a doctor's appointment for Shelby Girl this afternoon. And we thought maybe we could revive her just a little bit because normally she goes with us in the mornings, obviously, um, with us when we take the girls to school. Well, so Jasmine wrapped her up in a blanket and like held her in the car and yeah, she was looking around, but that was about it. And so it was just like, oh, this is so sad. This is so sad. But anyways, so I did get an appointment for her this afternoon. I'm hoping that my husband will be here to go with me because I am going to be a basket case, an absolute basket case. I just know it right now. I will get in there and I'm be determined to like be able to ask the questions that I need to ask and you know be able to make the decision if I need to make a decision and then I will get in there and I will and I will crumple. I will crumple and I will start bawling like a little baby even though I know I need to be the adult. <laughs> I just in that way whenever there's anything sad going on I mean, I don't even have to know somebody, but if somebody's telling a sad story, I start crying for those people. I'm just one of those people. I always cry if there's anything sad going on. It doesn't even have to relate to me at all, but I will start crying. So, yeah, I'm I'm a crier in that regard, but most other thing, everything else, I'm not. <laughs> so that's just weird. If it's sad, I'm gonna cry. So hopefully I can be strong this afternoon. Hopefully my husband, will come with me to the appointment. But I, I kind of am thinking that he's not going to be able to. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm thinking maybe I will have to... I know Jasmine will be home from school and she's normally pretty good. But I know she's having a hard time with Shelby being not so good either. So I may have to call on my sister. Because she's very no nonsense and she's not obviously as attached to Shelby Baby as we are. So anyways. <laughs> so anyways, that is what's going on today. So it's hard decisions that need to be made, I think, early later today. So <sighs> yeah. And in the meantime, I just got myself all ready. I've been editing some videos this morning. And now I need to go to the thrift store. I haven't been to the thrift store yet this week. So I am going to go do that right now. And I got a, a little sick girl looking at me. How you feeling? Eh. She says, eh. I got an eye roll and a pillow over the face. I'm pretty sure that means I'm feeling great, Mom. I'm feeling fantastic. <laughs> so. I'm going to check in with Zoe here, and then I'm going to run to the store, so I will check in with you later. Look at that shopping girl over there. <laughs> I can't stop crying. All right.
Thursday morning. It is a cold and windy day. And we even have some snowflakes in the air. So that's kind of cool. So I just returned home from taking the girls to school. And they only have a half a day today and no school tomorrow. So, because it is the end of the quarter, so they're very excited about that. Um, the rest of the day I have an appointment this afternoon and so does Shelby Girl. Um, I did not vlog yesterday because yesterday turned out to be a very emotional day for us. It started out as normal, getting the kids woke up, getting them ready for school, and it became apparent very quickly that Shelby Girl was not doing very well. Um, so we made an appointment. Um, she had stopped eating her food the day before. So it was hard to get her to eat anything. So it was like the second day of not eating anything really other than egg whites. Um, she was very weak and she basically didn't move from the couch hardly at all. And then um, <laughs> she did get up once in the morning while I was making breakfast for Zoe, which she normally does. She comes and sits on the rug in the kitchen and, you know, hangs out with us while I make breakfast for her. Well, she was standing there and she just fell over, like seriously, just fell over and didn't even attempt to get up again. So we're just like, oh man. All right, so we made a doctor's appointment and we brought her in and had it confirmed that yes, it is what we feared the most is that there's nothing else we can do for her at this point. Um, so uh, we had to make the gut wrenching decision that today I'm gonna start crying. That today would be the day that we put her down. So. <laughs> So my husband um, decided to do it today because the girls can go to school this morning and then they will come home and have a couple hours to be with her before um, my husband will take her to the vet um, to have the procedure done. So huh. oh, I really thought I could get through this. Um, yesterday was a complete basket case. Um, my eyes are still <laughs> swollen from all the crying that I did yesterday, but um, yeah. So today, I'm just trying to keep myself busy, <laughs> take as much time with Shelby Girl as possible, and try not to think about it too much. But of course, now I'm going to talk about it and start crying. So anyways, so we have until this afternoon before we have to say goodbye to our Shelby girl. And it is so sad. We knew it was coming in our heart. We know that is the correct thing to do. Um, there's really no use in prolonging her life at this point. Um, at this point, she's really not in pain. She's just getting weak. She's always cold. She's lost two pounds in the last two weeks. Um, it's just, and that was with her eating. So it's just, there isn't anything else we can do at this point. And I don't want it to get to the point where she's miserable and she's in pain. So we're just going to go ahead and take care of it today, which totally sucks. Totally sucks. But anyways. So that is what is going to happen today. Yeah. All right, so I am gonna uh, dry my tears, go snuggle with that Shelby girl for a little bit, and then maybe get up and work on a few things. So I will talk to you later, bye.
Good morning. It is Friday morning. The girls have no school today, and we're just kind of going to have a lounge around the house store today. Um, I do have Zoe to bring in to the doctor. She's got a very sore throat, so we are going to go see if she has strep throat because it is, you know, been bothering her for a couple days. Um, I myself am toying with the idea of going to the doctor too because now I am at like two weeks and my congestion hasn't gone anywhere. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to go to the doctor or not. I may wait to uh, give another couple days and see how I'm feeling. Um, the rest of the day, just kind of bum around and get some work done around the house. Do some laundry. And yeah, so I will check in with you later. Good morning. It is Sunday morning today and I have almost lost my voice. <laughs> um, yeah, I have not been a very good vlogger this week. I was terrible after like Thursday. Obviously, um, things were a little crazy and a little emotional around here and I just really didn't feel like vlogging. So I apologize for that. But at the same time, I think we needed to as a family just take that time. So that is what we did. I did do a little bit. Um, I think I talked to you about taking Zoe on Friday morning to get a strep test. And she does not have strep throat, which is awesome. They say it is viral, which is a good thing. But, it, um, but it's also a bad thing because she's going to have a sore throat for a few more days. So hopefully that gets over for her very soon. And I, as you can <laughs> hear... I'm just so congested still. I think I'm going to have to go to the doctor tomorrow and see what is going on. Because this, I've had it for two weeks now. And it does not seem to be getting any better. So, so yeah. Um, so, other than that, the family and I are seem to be adjusting to having Shelby Baby gone. Um, the first couple of days, first day and a half, were very emotional around here. But I think now that our the raw grief of our shock is now over, and we're just moved on to the sadness, and um, and the weirdness of it, or the, her not being where you think she's gonna be. Like when you come home, she's not there standing at the door waiting for you, or you know, last couple of weeks she's pretty much been on the couch in the living room, and she's not there anymore. So it's just weird. It's getting used to not having her around, and it's just so odd and it's a little hard to deal with because it just makes you sad just makes you sad so yeah so I think the girls I'm very proud of them though with that they have um they were all very attached to Shelby obviously um but they seem to be handling this whole situation quite well and I'm very proud of them for that I know that they miss her and at the same time but at the same time they're very understanding and they understand the fact that yeah, it's a part of life so anyways enough talk of that I will probably I will try not to um, have such downer <laughs> logs but I just wanted to kind of share this it's part of our life I share my part my life with you so I thought I would share this also so anyways I hope you are going to have a wonderful Sunday. We as a family are going to just be bumming out today. We've got, a pa there's a Packer game today. They play the Bears, but I don't think we're actually going to watch it because it's the Vikings play at the same time, so we won't get it where we're at, So, which is kind of a bummer. So I don't know. I think I'm probably just going to work on a few things around the house, get caught up on some laundry, and some cleaning projects, and I think that's what I'm going to do today. So I will see you again next week for another vlog. Bye now.